I don't care. Get. I don't want. No, no, no. Keep your kids around for a little bit today. Right? Let's teach them a lesson. Get them in the room. Sit them down. Let's teach them a lesson today. What? Dr. Disrespect? <laughs> More like Dr. Disrespects the Age of Consent. Rate the fit. If, if you if you dare. The Crocs? The shirt? Wake the hell up, ladies, gentlemen, and everybody in between that. Today, we're going to be talking about one of the biggest conspiracies in the streaming space surrounding a content creator whose face you literally just saw in the intro, Dr. Disrespect. He is a really interesting case when it comes to streamers and bans. Because what happened was, as in, in 2020, he was banned from Twitch, despite being one of the biggest content creators on the site, which confused literally everyone. No one knew why he was banned. And when they went to Doc to ask him, like, hey, why, why were you banned from your job he was like i can't tell you and when we asked twitch they're like i can't tell you no 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 boo boo and so with everyone confused it led to a lot of theories and conspiracies as to why he was banned and this question has remained unknown up to this day however there have been some recent new allegations that could possibly answer the question as to why he was banned however i want to preface this before we go any further into this video these are all just allegations there has been zero proof put forward as of me recording this video so i don't want to go into this video saying that he did or didn't do it because i literally do not know the answer this is merely me talking about the information that I've seen online, so you guys don't have to go scour through Twitter to learn about what's going on. And also just because I like chatting. So let's go deeper into the Doc Predator allegations, which I very much hope are not true because, you know, I would prefer if there wasn't a kid who was possibly a victim to a man, a big man. He's huge. He's like 6'2 or something. <laughs> I really outed myself by saying 6'2 is tall. I am not that and we're not gonna talk about how tall i am because in your guys eyes i'm eight feet tall however doc is slightly shorter than me at six eight so he's a goddamn goliath but that's not what's relevant what's relevant is the allegations that have recently dropped from an ex twitch employee that goes by the name of cody connors he said just the other day in a tweet he got banned because he got caught sexting a minor in the then existing twitch whispers product he was trying to meet up with her at twitchcon the powers that be could read in plain text case closed gang no one made the wrong decision fuck him and his boys and despite the the fact that they never explicitly named Doc in the tweet, people were able to put the puzzle pieces together. It wasn't that hard, considering there aren't really any other streamers, to my knowledge, that are permanently banned for reasons unknown. There's other permanently banned streamers, but even they are getting unbanned slowly but surely. Jideon came back, I think Sneeko got unbanned recently, and I've heard Aiden Ross is possibly getting invited back as well. So the fact that Doc is still banned leads us to believe that it has to be something extremely serious. And... I see where people could believe that this adds up. However, it is not my job to jump to conclusions, and so I want to dig more into the information that I've gathered. So, of course, the first thing is, this happened in the Twitch Whispers mechanic. It's this thing right here, so if you don't know what that is, it's this. I wouldn't be shocked if you don't know what it is. I think three people have used it ever, with Doc being one of them. But something that is genuinely kind of damning is some tweets that people saw surrounding when Doc was initially banned and then seeing how the people are talking about him now. There was one tweet I saw dropped by Slasher, or Rod Breslau, who is a gaming like journalist essentially who said look for several hours now i've been told from credible sources the reason dr disrespect has been banned however due to the importance and sensitivity around the subject i have refrained from going on it i don't feel comfortable with it currently that was in 2020 then after cody connor's tweet dropped saying that it was about sexting a minor rod dropped another tweet saying i didn't lie which is really damning. That doesn't look good, considering this is a guy claiming that he knows what happened and then saying that he didn't lie now. Not great, especially when I actually looked at his Twitter account today and his banner is currently a, a conversation that said, is there anything I can do to get you to pull the tweet? No. And I don't know how long his banner has been that, but if it's referring to a DM with Dr. Disrespect, that's rough. But of course, the doc isn't going to take this laying down. In fact, I don't even know how he lays down when he's that tall, but he has been caught responding to some journalists who have been talking about the situation. I saw one from Jake Lucky where he talks about the literal thing I just talked about, and then Doc says, Jake, seriously, I get it. It's a hot topic, but this has been settled. No wrongdoing was acknowledged, and they paid out the whole contract. Doc, that is the worst possible response I've ever seen to these kinds of allegations before. No wrongdoing was acknowledged? How hard is it to type, I didn't do it? <laughs> what do you mean, no wrongdoing was acknowledged? I mean, you were banned, so something got acknowledged. I guess he's trying to say that, like, since they paid out the whole contract, 
they couldn't, he couldn't have been a predator, because, like, why would Twitch pay a contract to a predator? But I don't know, that doesn't really make it better. There's a lot of predators in famous positions, and you're still banned. Like, that is, <laughs> that is on par with Drake's response to Kendrick during the rap beef, where he goes, no, Kendrick, I'm too famous to be a pedophile. Oh, so we're just openly delusional now, okay. It genuinely is shocking seeing a response like that. I don't know what he was thinking or if he was thinking at all. No wrongdoing was acknowledged. I'm, I've am i been dwelling on that a lot. I'm sorry if I talk about that a little too much in this video. It's just, it's just baffling. <laughs> How do you accidentally type the worst possible thing you could say? I, I, thank God he says something else the next day. He actually managed to drop a tweet from his own account, not responding to anything. Where in it he says, Listen, I'm obviously tied to legal obligations from the settlement with Twitch, but I just need to say what I can since this is the fucking internet. I didn't do anything wrong. All this has been probed and settled, nothing illegal, no wrongdoing was found, and I was paid. Elden Ring Monday. Crazy drop of uh, promoting his next upcoming stream. But also, I think this is a much better response saying, like, nothing illegal happened. I got, I, I got paid is a weird thing to be pushing. I don't know why he's so into the contract being paid out. No wrongdoing was found also is a really weird way to word that. Why does he talk like a lawyer? He, he tries to communicate this as if he's in a court of law when he's on Twitter and people think you did something horrible and your response is just, they didn't find out about it. What? Because, like, the thing is, I don't want this to be true. Like, I don't want it to be a real story that Doc was sexing a minor and planning to meet her at TwitchCon. But, Doc, you're not helping yourself! Like, I'm not even trying to ride on his knob right now. I just genuinely would prefer if there wasn't a victim, a child victim, to a man the size of a skyscraper. Goddamn Gulliver's Travels looking ass. Like, you <laughs> you know it's bad when John Drama Alert, also known as the Keemstar, says, Bro, why won't you say I was not talking to a minor trying to meet up with her at Twitch? Con, like what was alleged. How hard is it to say I didn't do it? You know it's bad when Keemstar has more common sense in the situation than you do. And the worst part about this entire situation, really, is that no matter which way you flip this coin, there's poop on either side. Because we have either A, he didn't do it, and so this guy created fake predator allegations for the sake of bringing Doc down, which is, if anything, genuinely evil in itself, because like, that's a genuine real thing that happens to people, and you're using it to weaponize someone because you don't like them? Maybe you should burn in hell, buddy. But then there's also the other outcome, which is equally as bad, if not worse, where he did do it, and if he did do it, not only did he do it, did he? You can, you can laugh. Applause. It's okay. You can laugh. But also, that means Twitch has been housing him, and they know about it, and they signed an NDA to not disclose it. That's what the ND and NDA is. And if that is the case, Twitch is completely cooked. There's no way of talking their way out of this one, because think about it. Twitch has been currently fighting a war about how the app is or isn't safe for kids. There's been a constant two or three year battle about how they allow people to straight open their buttholes like a Minecraft chest on stream, or like have a complimentary backshot experience in the middle of their stream and result in what? A 24-hour ban, 12-hour ban, a 10-minute ban. So the idea that they would be housing a predator alongside allowing all of this NSFW on the app essentially completely cooks Twitch just as much as Doc in this situation. And it doesn't look great when I've seen clips from old podcasts where they say things like this. But over two Dan, decade long career. Please, surely please I, tell surely us. my word can't Dan, be like. it's, it's been a long time. Please tell us. Yeah, yeah, it's been it's a long so time. Long that the okay. person involved is probably okay now. Uh, yeah. My memory is really bad because this was like two years ago and I was in Outpost buying a mini copter. Okay. And I remember someone saying, Doctor's Disrespect got banned from Twitch because he was messaging underage Whoa! girls on Twitch. Why he said that. It's kind of crazy that people were immediately like, Whoa, hey! What do you mean he did that? And then we hear about this now, which is weird. The puzzle piece is connecting. However, the person he was playing with in Russ could have easily been the same guy who just dropped this information now and has a bit of beef with Doc. We don't know. We have no clue. But with all of the information that we currently have, watching back Doc's final stream on Twitch before he was banned looks a lot more damning. Just, I'm going to play the ending clip to his stream. This is like the last things he said before ending his last Twitch stream. Okay, who's I appreciate who's everyone who's watching today. Who's it in the backyard? Who is going to be looking? We'll, we'll get. We'll get through this Champions Club. Uh, it's, yeah, I, I know it's a tough. To, that's, because I don't know this one well. Life's weird Maybe, right now. Yeah, I. Oh my god! Well, what a crazy last thing to play on Twitch, by the way. Or I guess watch. I think he's watching a Roblox video. <laughs> he's a Call of Duty streamer, by the way. Did it, did it, did. We'll get through this, okay? And, uh... Hey, Christopher. 
Dun dun dun! You better not taunt me. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Fuck. You get the try. And just like that, Doc was never seen again on the funny purple app. That really did give off the vibe of someone who got caught doing something they really shouldn't have done and knew their life was over, and yet somehow he managed to supposedly strike a deal with Twitch and make an NDA about not telling other people about it. I don't know, but honestly, the idea that they're covering up a predator, a predator situation, like a real one, is horrifying, and honestly would probably make me never use Twitch again if that's true. There has been one other piece of drama that has come out of the situation. It's drama that I never wanted to dip my toes into, but unfortunately I'm going to because it's relevant to the topic, and it revolves around the content creator Nick Merckx. Nick Merckx is a friend of Dr. Disrespect, and he's been in quite a few bits of controversy recently for stuff that I have been asked to make videos on before, but I've never wanted to because, to be honest, I feel like most of the times that he does things where he comes out talking about transphobia and how he doesn't like trans people and how to like, keep them away from the kids type stuff. He's doing it because it makes him go viral. He, the only time I've ever seen him pop up on my feed viral is when he is being a hateful person online. So I don't feel like feeding into that and giving him the attention. But people were essentially attacking Nick Merckx for their hypocrisy of claiming that trans people shouldn't be allowed around children for reasons unknown, and then turning that around, looking at the fact that his best friend is allegedly a predator. Which, if anything, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, like, I, of course, I'm gonna say I'm pro-LGBT, I'm pro-trans, I'm always gonna be, you have one chance on this planet, might as well do it in the way you are comfortable. But guys, gang, ladies, gents, and everyone in between that, arguing with Nick Merckx about his takes that are very obviously made to make people angry, in a situation where there is possibly a victim and an alleged predator, kind of defeats the purpose. It kind of ignores the really big elephant in the room when we can barely fit in the room right now. There's an elephant in there. So, like, I don't know. Like, people arguing, they're always going to find a place to argue on Twitter because that's what the app is made for. But it just sucks seeing everyone so mad all the time when in reality, when there is hateful comments like that, don't give them the light of day. Just ignore them. That honestly would solve half the problem. But moving forward from this, I don't think there is going to be any further developments. And if there are, I'll talk about it here or make a community post about it. Because to be honest, there is an NDA signed. So legally, no one can say anything. So if someone does say something, they're going to get sued. So someone might risk it. Maybe they'll risk it for the biscuit and then lose tons of money. But to be honest, I don't think I see that happening. I'm going to go for now, though. I'd like it if you liked the video and subscribed if you're new. And if you have any other thoughts on this, let me know in the comments down below. Of course, some people might disagree with me with some of the takes in this video, and I don't really care. I'm not here to argue. I'm just here to talk about what I saw and drop some takes on it. I appreciate you guys who watched the video all the way through, and I appreciate if you subscribed and liked the video to stick around for more. I'll see you in whatever I make next. And as always, adios, arrivederci, goodbye, good night, and excuse me while I pwn some noobs in Call of Duty. And by that, I mean go to work. Please help me. <laughs> Hi, actually, one last second. I was in the middle of wrapping up this video and new information dropped about Cody Connors, the guy who dropped the info on Doc. And it doesn't look great. There was apparently some tweets that he dropped saying that he would, he would like dangling the idea of Doc's ban over our head like a treat saying, hey, uh, if you buy tickets to my show, I'll drop why Doc got banned. What the fuck, Cody? <laughs> What? That's not a good look. I guess maybe it'll, it'll pay for his lawsuit with the NDA if he gets enough tickets bought to his show, but it doesn't look good when you're incentivizing it with money that you'll make for dropping information about a predator. You're- that, that that's you gatekeeping a predator for money! You're a problem! It doesn't change the authenticity of what he said, it doesn't prove or disprove anything, but it definitely makes it look really bad for our boy Cody. But regardless, that's all I had to add. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe, of course, if you're new, like the video if you liked it, and I'm getting out of here. No outro. Bye. Get out. Get it. Get it. Goodbye!